The dream is really to have an impact. We have to transition from something that is fossil fuel based into something that is sustainable. I've been working on the energy space for more than 15 years. I went to MIT and did my PhD focusing on microgrids. As part of our ongoing friendship, Jorge and I used to throw ideas on what we could actually do together uh, from the point of view of starting a business. Obviously, clean energy is, is part of Jorge's background and it is really the area where I think you can make a real difference today. I knew from the academic background what were the kind of like technical or theoretical uh, challenges, but I wanted to go to the field and see, okay, people building microgrids and trying to make these microgrids work, what are they facing? At some point in time, Jorge got invited to go to a, to a microgrid uh, project that was being developed in Sonoma, California. The microgrid actually has something like 20 different distributed energy resources. So batteries, electrolyzer, fuel cell, and no two of those technologies were designed and built by the same company. They don't talk to each other. And Jorge decided that he was going to tackle that problem. I tried to make it work with what was at hand, but you know, when we saw that it was challenging, we moved towards an alternative. So when I met Mac, I told him, hey, you know, there's a missing piece here, a missing technology. And he got very interested in that. And we began to work on what we now call Stone Edge Farm Estate vineyards and winery, which is itself a microgrid as well. The technology was uh, uh, to decentralize the decision making in the system, to make it simpler, to make it uh, more natural, more organic, uh, and he really liked the concept um, and, and encouraged us to, to build the technology uh, and to create a company out of it. I see the grid evolving very quickly, much faster than what we thought when we first started the company. This has been the goal from the beginning, to really overhaul the energy infrastructure of this country and, and hopefully the world soon into a more reliable, cleaner, and equitable system. That's why we're very excited of this uh, new phase with Color, where we are going to take the product uh, and the technology and the concept and put it in many different places worldwide where it can actually make a difference. I think Kohler has been focused in providing power when the grid doesn't for so many years uh, that it's really kind of a, a, a blueprint of what uh, the type of systems we want to deploy could be. At its core, both Hela and Kohler are providing reliable resiliency to their customers. So that's, I think, a very nice synergy uh, between the two companies. At the end of the day, we are on this for the impact that we can have on you know, the climate and, and modernizing the energy system. We have the technology to do it, now we have to put it out there uh, in, a, in a massive scale. And that's, that's where we're fully focused now. We want to see thousands and thousands of these devices everywhere. We could have a very large impact across the United States, across the world at large, creating a more reliable, cleaner and equitable grid. Building products and building technologies uh, that can improve uh, the world and, and people's lives um, is very engaging for, for me. Every morning I wake up and say, this is exciting. Let's see what we can get accomplished today.